Hello, Search here for the Backyard Driving Range. Uh, there's no question came in today, so I'm going to be just talking about a lesson I recently gave. And it's, a, it's, quite a, it's come quite a good group. I have a, I have a student uh, from Greenville, South Carolina, and, and his name is Richard, and he started with me. And, uh, and Richard, is, uh, he's since converted both of his sons and his brother, his younger brother, to, to peak performance, and I've worked with all of them. And I just recently had a, a lesson with his, I believe his oldest son. And he came over and he'd been working on a PPGS for a while. And Richard came for the lesson also because I ended up giving him, a, him one afterwards. So I had a dual lesson that day with him. But we started out with the son first. And, and he, was, he, he liked the swing. He said he was hitting the ball better, but his problem was distance. He said he was, he was hitting it really short. And I mean, he looked in pretty good shape and he was, he was, he was quite muscular and, and well, and looked pretty good, pretty, pretty fit. But uh, I could see just as soon as he started swinging, I could see what the problem was really quick. And I mean, let's let's see if you can notice something. I'm going to do I'm going to do my swing first, my normal would be a normal swing with my seven iron here, and just kind of look at at the, the the movement or the speed of my arms, because I think I know I'm, I'm sure you can do just like me. If you see two swings in a row, you could judge whether the, the, the speed of the body and especially the arms in the club were different. All right, so I'm going to do my normal speed here that I that I opened up this video with, and 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 and, and just and just check out and what if anything watch watch the speed of my arms. And that was basically a full complete shot with a seven iron, which for me now should go about 150 yards. A year or so ago, it would have been 160. I've lost I've lost some distance in the last two years, basically going back to starting back with my my heart surgery three years ago, but I'm 63 now, and, and I and I'm I know I can't expect to hit the ball as far as I used to. Even if I wouldn't have had the surgery, I want to start slowing down because we lose our muscles lose the ability to fire. All right, so you see that swing. But since I talked in between, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try to do that same swing, and if you can still remember that one, I think this one should say you should be say say to yourself, yeah, that was just about spot on to the last one. Okay, here's Don again with my normal seven iron golf swing, which would give me about 150 yards air carry. And I hit that one just as good as the one before. Now I'm going to give you the sun swing here, Richard's sun swing. And all right, I'm going to set up. Do it again in case in case you missed it. He was vertical. He made a limited turn. He had the wide knees. That was probably even closer to it. Do you notice how that last one had a little bit more lazy and 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 the club just kind of and the arms just kind of folded up like a cheap chair going into the finish? Well, that's the swing he was making, and naturally, it got worse. Uh, and uh, Alan's swing got worse uh, as the clubs got longer. And and I filmed him front and back, and the thing was is he thought he thought his swing was terrible, but overall he had the setup and he had the motion down correct as far as the the positions, but he had no speed. I mean I like to call that sleep swinging. It's like he's swinging in his sleep. I mean there's no acceleration there, or at least not even enough to really call it an accelerated swing. He just basically going right along. Now I've had, I've had many people tell me, I've had ladies tell me this, I've had men tell me this. And, and this condition I'm talking about right now is something I see an awful lot, especially with ladies and seniors. Is, is I've, heard them I've heard them say, all I want to do is I want to keep a nice, smell, steady, smooth pace. All right? Well, steady and smooth isn't accelerating. And in fact, in many cases, it'll be deselling because if you're trying to, if you're if the club's coming down, if you just let, you, if you just came up here, and let your arms drop, it's going to be picking up speed. So if you're trying to keep it at some spe speed, you're actually doing what? You're having to tighten and tense your muscles to control the speed you're trying, the steady, smooth speed or pace you're trying to maintain. So you're actually very likely deselling or whatever you are, you're not excelling. All right, it's not accelerating going through. So. That's a that's a bad concept, and I hear to that I hear that so much from people. Then again, we've had a number of comments where I've had people say. I had one say a while back, uh, Jim. He he said to me uh, when I finally kept telling him to swing. Jim, I said, man, you're just you're sleep swinging, man. You're, you're swinging at it. You're not swinging at it. You're just kind of like 
just waving your arms if you want to call it that. You know, and I, I mean, I know Jim, and he's a good guy, and I told him, I said, Jim, would you do me a favor and take your skirt off, man, and swing at it like a man? How about manning up? I mean, when I get some students, I, I try to lighten up, the, lighten up the conversation a little bit now and then. But, and I, I, say that to, I say that to a lot of guys, and especially seniors. But in, unfortunately, I'm starting to see it even with younger folks, all right? Because I know it's a new swing, but Jim gave me the ultimate final answer. He said, when I finally kept saying, faster, come on, Jim, accelerate, man. Hit that thing, bust it. When Jim was hitting it, he was hitting it to a, to a we were at a driving range, and there was a target green out there, and he was hitting it at that target green. And when he first started hitting that 7.9, he wasn't even sniffing the green, he was so short. By the time I finally got him to, to start really accelerating, next thing you know, he's right into the edge. Next thing you know, I uh, come on, give me some more. I know I can see more. I mean, I'm, I'm making a good assessment of what I, what I assume I'm pretty certain he can do. All right? And I'm just, I'm just saying, more, faster, give me more acceleration. And when, once we start accelerating, many times we've got to make sure we got that firm grip because if you're holding it, if you're holding it too, too softly, it's going to be hard to swing because if you hold it too softly and, and you... And you and you keep and you start accelerating the swing. Pretty f first thing you know, whoosh, that club can start slipping out of your hands. That's why you got to hold it fairly firm. I, I, I say men all the time. Did you play baseball? Uh, yeah. Did you hold a bat that light? No. Well, do you, do you think golf's any different? You're probably swinging a golf club even faster than you were swinging your baseball bat. That's when I give them a test. I have golfers stand there, on, and every now and then I'll say, "All right, take your grip, take your normal grip that you're going to swing with, lift up the club." And just hold it, and I come over here and I start pulling the club, and I can't tell you how many times it comes that, that easy out of the hands. So I go, I take the head and I do that, and it just slides all over the hands. You can't, it's got to be relatively firm, equal with both hands in the firmness. All right? And so I got Jim swinging, swinging. I said, Come on, man, give me more. I know you got more, right? And, and finally, all of a sudden, as he started swinging more, I started seeing a difference in his setup. He was, he was looking more ready and, and ready to, to go at it. And then all of a sudden, bam. He's five or ten yards longer. Bam, he's starting to reach the edge of the green. Next thing you know, I said, come on, give me a little bit more. Boom, he knocks his flag high. And I said, you get any more left? Because I think that looks pretty good, but I, I got a feeling you might have some more left, Jim. And next thing you know, poof, he flies one right over the flag, over the green. So he just added two clubs. He just went two clubs longer from where he was, wasn't reaching it to where he, he, he either one hopped the back of the green or, or actually airmailed it. Just by doing what? A little bit firmer grip, which firms up the body. And you got to swing, you got to go after it. And then once you get that, you got to start learning what is my normal average swing? What percentage of my power am I using to swing that? All right? And so normally I'm always swinging probably 85, 90% power. I'm not that big and I'm not that strong. So normally full shots of me are always about at least around 90% power. All right? I got a little bit more. But if I start going more, the tendency is it doesn't take much more. Next thing you know, I'm tightening up the wrong way and my balance is getting knocked off and my direction is not going to be that good. But I, I, got, I can stand here and, and between choking up, I can, I can, I can fix, fix things out and I can just I can knock it off, which cut a shot off if I want to hit it shorter. Or I can actually swing a little bit slower. All right? And, and I can do that and still hit good shots. I can, I can, my mind has a good, a good concept of what my arm speed is for normal shots which would be a normal full shot that gives me the distance at which I hit every club. And as I said, a 7-9 would be 150, 8-9 would be 140, 9-9 would be 130. Three years ago or earlier, a 9 -nine, 130 was a pitching wedge, and then my 9-9 was 140, and my 8-9 was 150, and my 7-9 was 160. I've lost about 10 yards. So if you start, if you start swinging with a little bit more, we're going to even use, I don't I might, might be a bad word to use, but aggression, a little bit more energy, a little bit more athletic readiness, like you really want to hit the ball, you don't want to just love tap it, all right? You got to go at it, and you have to accelerate, okay? And so I got Alan accelerating, and the first thing you know, poof, he's doing the same thing. The ball's, where he, he's been cutting 20 and 30 yards longer. He, he was swinging so slow. In Alan's case, he, was, he thought he had an awful swing. He said, my swing's ter terrible. When the swing wasn't terrible, his acceleration or lack of acceleration was what was terrible. He really had a good setup and a pretty good swing. He just needed to start. He needed to start muscling up and swinging and hitting the ball, swinging the club like he wanted to hit a home run. Not hit these little these these little doobop button hits, baby hits. All right, and so that's what it is. Get that right firm grip all the way up to the forearms. 
you get that firm grip and come in here and you want to make sure that when you're swinging you're balanced and you're accelerating to your finish accelerating not sleep swinging that's the way to hit the ball more solid straight definitely longer so you can hit so you can shoot those lower scores well that's it for the search today on we gotta we gotta muscle up and we gotta swing we can't love tap it you can hit good shots but you better be playing a real short part three course if you're if you're gonna do it that way but if you're playing real courses you gotta put some beef you gotta put some beef into it and you gotta you gotta muscle up and accelerate and sometimes you gotta work at it and then you gotta realize and remember what what your full muscle is with all the clubs and then make sure that you're always get the right muscle tone and you're muscling up and accelerating and you'll be hitting good shots. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.